La Mesa is a place where the unbroken horizon lets you see forever across the flat West Texas landscape. And where about the only shade trees for miles around are found down here on the courthouse lawn. It was here, hidden by those massive limbs, where the pride of La Mesa, Texas is found in living color. It's the history of a flat frontier area told in murals on each side of the Dawson County Courthouse. The brand new works of art are already a huge source of pride for people from miles around. And Sheriff Johnny Garcia says it all came about when officers stopped to question a man wandering on the side of the road one hot August afternoon. He was picked up by one of our Department of Public Safety officers. I was walking down the road. I wasn't bothering anybody. I wasn't going to bother anybody. I hadn't bothered anybody the day before. And but they stopped me. And that's all I can say. When he was brought into jail, my chief deputy called me and he said, uh, you might need to supervise this one. He's just, he's a little rough. He looked like uh, Charles Manson. Full beard, big eyes, just, just confused. You know, when I first saw him, I said, well, we've got us a good one here. And so luck had run out on convicted felon Harry Hamlin. Seems he never bothered to check in with parole officers after serving a 40-year sentence in the state penitentiary for armed robbery. And Harry's back in the slammer for another long stretch. Periodically, I'd check the jail, and, and I, every time I kept going back to the jail, I'd go to his cell block, and he'd always come to the door. He always wanted to paint. And this time, I guess about three or four weeks had passed, and I was doing a jail check, and he approached me again. I said, Harry, you know, you've been beating that drum since you got here. Come on out, let me see what, see what you can paint. Harry's handiwork stopped the sheriff in his tracks. Well, word got out about the creative convict who had never taken a single art course or any formal training, and soon he was painting his way up and down the halls of the courthouse. Now, the judge has just handed you a document uh, that says it's a will. Is that the last will and testament of your father? Yes, it is, sir. So that is the last will that he signed. And it Seems one thing led to another. With, County uh, attorney Steve Payson had an idea. Let a jail inmate with a paintbrush tell the story of the county's history on all four sides of the most prominent building in town. It makes me feel good, you know, when people, when people compliment me on my artwork, but the, the thing that I like the most about it, it gives me a chance to, to acknowledge the fact that, that art is not something I take pride in, it's something I, I take a lot, have a lot of joy in. You know, I like the, the opportunity to, to share that with people. It's what means the most to me. Folks are in awe of the talented painter who came out of nowhere and who paints alone without so much as a single armed guard watching over him. They trust me. You know, I have all the faith in the world in this man. Uh, as far as security, I don't worry. You know, he'll go and come as, as you ask him to. Johnny Garcia, our sheriff, you know, this is true. He's one of the finest people that I've ever met in my life. There's not anything in the world I would do to make his name look better, to hurt him in any kind of way, you know, by doing something stupid. He could put me off there in a pasture and leave me 10 days or anything. You know, I, I, ain't, I'm ne I would never do anything to, to hurt his name. You know, because he's such a fine person. You'd never run? Not a, not a, she couldn't drag me off. It's, it's, it's out of the question, you know, it's, you just don't hurt people like that, you know, you, you know what I mean? It would, it would really hurt him, you know, and it, it would hurt a lot of other people that, you know, and I, I, I'm not about to do it, Jesus. Here he's even found time to create fine art on a smaller scale. Gentle, serene beauty from the imagination of a man who spent so many years behind bars. I can visualize this walking down that road right there, but I can't go there right now, except I can in my mind and my heart. I just, my body can't go there right now. I mean, I get to, you know, I get to longing for, 
for freedom. You know, to, I, I would really, right now, I would really like to hear for the past several months, I've thought about the, the Davis Mountains and the Guadalupe Mountains over there in far west Texas. I've never been over there to, to look at it and to, to where it, I could you know, do some sketches and stuff and where I could remember it, where I could paint from memory. Cause I, you know, I've seen pictures of it, but it's not the same thing as going there. You know, and I, well, I'd really like to go over there. Someday. Mm -hmm. Someday. And I see in Harry a person who now has a hometown. He's got a reputation in this community, and even though he's wearing stripes on the outside, people can see the value of the man on the inside. He's a very special person, very talented person. And uh, Harry has a future here, and uh, I'd love to have Harry. He's one of my neighbors. With an incredible talent and new hope discovered so late in life, Harry Hamlin thinks back on the bad decisions that put him behind bars for so many years. I'd do anything to, to, to turn back the hands of time and, and change all that. I'd do anything to, to keep part of anybody like that ever again. But you can't do that, you know, can't. So you just have to go from where you're at, you know. Just get up every day, go take care of your business, and if you see somebody that needs some help, help them. Out on the flat West Texas plains, a quiet man with a paintbrush has given folks a gift of history as he struggles with the nightmares of his own past. It'll be a long time before Harry Hamlin is free again, but for now, the gentle strokes of a paintbrush give one Texas artist the freedom and joy he has never known before. In my own way, art is a way where I can make good. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.